The new update from OpenAI is absolutely insane. So I'm talking about Optimus Alpha, which is a new model that appears to have come from OpenAI. Now it is a stealth model, as you can see right here. This is a cloaked model provided to the community to gather feedback. However, if you go inside the chat here and you start asking Optimus Alpha, what is the percentage chance that it's a new update from OpenAI? you can actually see that it estimates the probability is at least 95% that it's a new update from AI. And it is absolutely awesome at coding. Plus, it is completely free. Let me show you a cheeky example. So here's an example of an app I actually coded out using this model. And it's created like a Duolingo style app, as you can see. If we go over to another project I actually coded, and I'll show you another example of how I coded that today. I created Tariff Pong, which is an incredible game, as you can see right here, where we can play against each other, throw in tariffs at each other, like you can see. And this game was coded out completely with Optimus Alpha. So it's really impressive so far. It's actually only behind, only second to Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So if we go over to the rankings, on open router let me pull this up for you so you can see the llm rankings so this is comparing like literally all the models that are on open router and there is a lot believe me you can see how many models there are over time and you can see the top today only behind core 3.7 which is absolutely the goat for coding it is the best for coding but you can see the optimus alpha is absolutely flying right here and the difference between these two is that this one is paid and this one not only is it free, not only does it have a million token context, but also when I've been coding with it, I'm not even hit a single limit. So you can see, for example, inside here, I was actually coding directly with Optimus Alpha. And I'll show you how to set this up in a minute. I said create a Duolingo style app that teaches people Thai and didn't hit a single limit as I was coding with it. It was just insanely good, really good. And you can see in the settings here, you can select Optimus Alpha which is the new update. And it's been really powerful so far, very impressive. You can see some of the apps that you can build with this. So for example, like Recode, Klein is another one. And you can also get free access to this inside the chat room on Open Router. So for example, if we go to Optimus Alpha over here, click on chat, we can start chatting with this bad boy right here. And we can even connect it to web search as well. So it's a really powerful model. It's completely free. It's really good at coding. And it seems like it 95% chance it's a new update from OpenAI. Here's another way that you can code with it. This is using optimus-alpha.org, which actually runs through all the key sort of facts about it. So for example, free unlimited access, 1 million token context, premium performance. You can also use this inside Visual Studio Code as well as NA10. And you can build websites and games with it. As I already shown you, you can build apps and games. We built Tariff Pong with it. And we also built that tie app as well using this and it's super powerful the other thing to note here is it's also multimodal so you can build with text code visual content generation etc and it is fully free right now the one thing that i would say is that it's probably going to disappear from open router soon i don't think this is going to be free and available forever i think that it's just going to be put out there people get to see how good it is open ai get a bunch of feedback and then later they'll take it off open router. So I would well and truly make the most of it while you can. And also you can see here, there are no rate limits. And that's what I was talking about, right? So I was absolutely rinsing it for credits today, smashing out the coding inside Visual Studio Code. No problem, I mate. Rinse it as much as you can. We're not going to charge you. So it's really powerful. And you can also see here, you can use it inside NA10. So you can create like little one code, one click AI agents on that. I've got tons of tutorials on that inside the AI profit warning if you want to learn how to do that stuff. And a lot of people are saying it's likely from OpenAI. So OpenRouter surprised the AI world by quietly releasing Optimus Alpha on April 10th. So this has only been around for literally what, less than 48 hours anyway. It's a stealth launch. And according to OpenRouter Optimus, Alpha AI is a pre-release of a long context foundation model. All right. So if you want to start using this, you can actually code directly inside Optimus-Alpha.org or you can go over to Visual Studio Code. I have tons of SPs inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description. And if you go to your settings, select Open Router, plug in your API key, plug in your Muggle tool, and then you can build whatever you want, right? So but let me show you how we built this Thai app, like you can see. So I just say create a Duolingo app that teaches people Thai. It 
create that really quickly. It was impressive how quickly it did it. Then it styled the UI, as you can see, create the CSS, I opened it up in the browser. So you'll see like a nice little green box here. It's actually using RuCode, which is an amazing extension. Again, tons of SVs inside the AI Profit Boardroom for that. I'm not going to cover it inside this video because it takes too long. And then you can see step by step, this is how you can build whatever you want, right? And the cool thing about this is you can build personalized apps to do everything exactly how you want. So you don't need to rely on Duolingo or any other app. You can just build out however you want, right? Now, if you have any problems, like you can see right here, so we had some problems with the UI. I actually just took a screenshot and because it's a multimodal model, it took the screenshot and it can actually code with that directly here. So pretty cool stuff. The other way that you can use this is, and this is based on some instructions inside the AI profit order. If you open up terminal here, right, then we're going to pip install open web UI. All right. And then from there, we're going to open web UI serve. Now you can see it's running. It's opening that bad boy up. And this is going to open up something called open web. Now it's going to take about a minute or so just to load. Super simple. You only need two commands in terminal to actually get this running. And then you can connect open web UI to open router inside your settings and just get this set up and linked directly to Optimus Alpha as well, right? And then you can code with that for free as well. So it's pretty cool stuff right here. That's going to take a little while to load, I believe. You can see it's loading right there. I don't think that's going to work just yet. Let me check. Oh, it's working already. Boom shakalaka. All right. So we can see inside here, we can select all our models from open router. So for example, I can select Optimus Alpha and then start coding with it directly. You can also choose between all these different models inside Open Router, which is pretty cool. And additionally, you can capture or upload files. You can use a code interpreter, etc. Right. So this is kind of like a way of using Open Router in a chat GPT style, which looks really cool. And again, how quick was that to set up? Literally, it was like two minutes to set up, right? Not even that, probably just a little copy and paste on the two prompts, which you can get from the AI profit board. I'm just going to shut that down because it takes up a lot of memory. But you can see how easy it is to code between Visual Studio Code and RuCode between Open Web UI. You can use Open Router inside the chat. And then also you can just take this API key and then plug it into NA10 and create AI agents that way. Now, if you want to learn how I built this out, let me show you. So I'll pull up this chat inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Just go to the SAP section, you get all the notes here. And essentially what we said here was like build out a funny US tariff ping pong game between the leader of US and China, light pong, but it's funny graphic with tariffs between each other. It coded that out. Honestly, it wasn't that great. So I just changed the prompt slightly to include the actual Chinese and US flag and make the UI very lifelike. Obviously one will be Trump. It came back to us, but it wasn't quite the way that I wanted it. So I said, do it in one single HTML file and boom, right? We got this back. And it was working perfectly, right? And and then you can see we plug that into Live Weave over here. And Jinping is just absolutely destroying me right now. But you get the point. And then we can do Talk Dance is Ruined. It gets faster and faster. Why well, it's pretty fun. I'm sure you can make it even better. It's literally just a little tweak on a prompt back and forth. And then this is going insanely fast. Look at that. But I keep getting beaten. But you get the point. Like very easy to build out these games, these tools, these apps, etc. using this process. I also think you could use something like Bolt Local, set that up and then plug in your open router key as well. So that's another possibility. But yeah, you can build whatever you want. And the difference here is if you're using ChatGPT 4.0, obviously that's going to cost you a lot. Whereas, for example, with Optimus Alpha, you can use it for free. Vic says, giving us value on the weekend. That's what I'm about. Weekends and for coding. And Steven says, I see you more than I see my wife. Shout out to Steven. Absolute legend in the game all right so this is basically how you can use it step by step very simple and easy and if you want to see the benchmarks and how this performs so you can see here optimus alpha on big code bench hard it's ranked 12 out of 196 35.1 percent complete 30.4 percent instruct and 32.8 percent average so if we open this up you can see how it's performing. So this is Optimus Alpha over here. It's still being outperformed by some of these models, but from what I've seen, it's super powerful. It really does do a good job. And you can see this was the announcement from Open Router. So they announced this second stealth model. This comes at a time when ChatGPT and OpenAI have been talking about launching number one, a new model. Obviously they've been talking about a new version of GPT-04 plus GPT-5 coming later. So it wouldn't surprise me if this is related to that. And the other thing here is there was actually some code change on OpenAI's website a couple of days ago, 
and people were saying there's going to be a new model coming out. And I think this is basically it, as you can see. So you can use this for coding. They're trying to get tons of feedback. They do have a Discord channel here. I've not actually joined it yet, but let's check this out. So this is the Optimus Alpha Discord channel. I do not have permission to check that out. So for some reason, it's not working for me, but you get the point. And then you can link it to the internet as well. Now, if you want to use this inside NA10, let me show you exactly how to do that. So we're going to go in to NA10 over here. I'm going to open up the workspace. Should be pretty simple to set up. So if you just want to create like something super basic, like a one-click AI agent, then what we can do is click on create a workflow, open this up. And then from there, we can add a new step. So let's open up trigger manually, or in fact, let's open up a chat node. So we'll put chat trigger inside our AI agent here. We can make this publicly accessible as well. And then we'll rename this Optimus Alpha AI agent. All right. And then we'll put in here, AI agent, change the system message. You, you are a helpful AI assistant. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to select open router. So open router chat model. And inside the drop down here, we're going to select Optimus Alpha. That's the one that we're going to be coding with today. All right. Then I just need to check this works, make sure my credentials are working correctly, etc. All right. So let's just check. Are you working? And there you go. Yes, I'm here. I'm ready to help. What can I assist you with today? And if we actually click on active over here, that's going to be saved. And so what we can do if we copy that and then we'll open up a new incognito tab, just to check this works. And then you can see here, we can actually chat with model. All right. So I would just say, are you working? You can see it's loading and you can see how fast it is, how rapid it is, et cetera. Right. So if we say, okay, code a SEO post calculator in HTML, we've now created like your own sort of chat GPT, basically with NA10 and Optimus Alpha. And it doesn't cost us any money because we can just code out for free using that process. And you saw how quick that was. Like that was stupidly quick. So if we copy that text over here, then we're just going to click off the chat and we'll just make sure this works. So I'm going to open up live weave. We'll get rid of tariff pong, delete that, plug that in. Boom. SEO cost calculator ready to go. Let's calculate that works perfectly. Check that works. Boom. Yeah. No problem, mate. No problem. So that's basically how it works step by step. I'm just going to switch it off because I don't want loads of people rinsing my open router. But you can see how that works, how easy that was to set up. It literally takes like seconds. If you want to learn how to do all this stuff, then number one, I will download that and plug it into the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to get the Optimus Alpha workflow. So let me edit this and then we'll add up Optimus Alpha. And then inside here, we're going to call this AI agent, hit enter, hit save, and you can just grab that and then upload it and insert it into here. So if you go to import, you can grab that pretty simple and easy. So it's absolutely insane. You can code with it. You can build apps, you can build games, you can build one click AI agents using Optimus Alpha and all this stuff is free. And also you can see how we can build, for example, this app that teaches you languages using this process as well. And that's just in the space of minutes of me playing around with it, right? I'm sure you can do better. If you spend the whole day just coding something out that you actually really wanted to build, but just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to use this process. And if you want to get all my best workflows, tips, templates, tutorials, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI profit boardroom. This comes with all my best SPs, tips, workflows, AI agents, etc., and an amazing community of members here that you can ask any questions to. And additionally, if you want to jump on weekly Q and A calls here, you can, along with that. You can get a free SEO strategy session link in the comments description that will show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. And this will show you and give you an SEO custom tailored game plan so you can get more free leads, more free sales, and more free profits from Google directly to your website. You'll get all your questions answered and you'll learn the best link builder strategies for your websites. So feel free to get that. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.